Counterclockwise. Good boy. Simple. Good boy. Praise the Lord. <laughs> yes! When I think of my sister Christina, I also think of her corgi Jojo. There is quite literally never one without the other. Where she goes, he goes, and vice versa. It's pretty safe to say they're best friends. Jojo is a photogenic, Instagram famous corgi with thousands of followers to his name. He's also been featured in People Magazine and on UC Berkeley's official Instagram. You could say he's made it big in the dog world. But there's a lot of layers behind that cute face. He also has an important job as Christina's service dog. I was curious to learn more about Jojo's many facets, so I sat down with Christina to get to know a little more about this furry overachiever. So a corgi is a compact dog with a big body and big dog mind. Mm -hmm. It loves running. It loves playing. They almost always love, love food and are very food driven. So Jojo is a five-year-old Pembroke Welsh corgi. He is a service dog as well as a therapy dog. And he just brings a lot of joy to people. Jojo as a herding dog, he loves to work for anything. And he loves <laughs> to please, he loves to make people happy. Yeah. It's just like in his corgi blood. He learns tricks like really quickly, as mm -hmm. long as he's motivated. And Jojo's motivation is food. Jojo also has another job, right? A really important job. And we're gonna talk about that. So what else does he do? So Jojo is a service dog, which means he does a task to mis mitigate my disability. So he does med bag retrieval for my medicine. He does um, deep pressure therapy. When I need to, I'll ask him to get on me and apply deep pressure therapy. His weight is kind of calming. He'll alert me when I need him so that I can stop certain behaviors and then he'll get a treat every time. So it's something that was training and now he does it naturally. Part of the training is he has to wait even when there's a lot of distraction, even if there's food dropped on the table or even if there's like a squirrel in the way. And so I'll have him wait or have him leave it and then once you have the release word, he can do whatever. And so his release word just means, all right, go chase the squirrel now. You're allowed to do that. If he is in uniform, when he's training, he's very obedient. Mm -hmm. He completely ignores food, um, doesn't solicit pets and stuff. For him, he's not working when he doesn't have his vest on, his uniform and he will always be working with his uniform on and that makes him one easily identifiable but also it puts him in that mindset. I trained him very strictly when he puts on his uniform. I don't accept no for an answer unless I read him and this is not the time to be working. Do you see anybody like abusing the service dog system? There are a lot of fraudulent activities and there are a lot of service dog registries online where you pay money and you get a letter from someone saying that you need this and then mm. you get um, a little vest and a uniform. I'm surprised it's not more like regulated. Why is it bad that they're doing that? Um, it offends me because I worked really hard to make sure he's actually helping me and I really think about where I take him because thankfully with my disability I don't need to take him everywhere. Who would benefit from a service dog? Anyone who has a disability that one severely makes it harder to live a normal life and two has a couple tasks that a dog could do. Mm -hmm. It really really helps me with my day-to-day -day life and so I I'm really happy that he does these things. If you could describe Jojo in three words, what would you describe him as? Fluffy, food motivated, and cute eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and cute butt. 
So what is JoJo's Instagram handle for anyone who wants to follow him? It's at JoJo the Pembroke Corgi. Pembroke's a type of corgi and then the other one is Cardigan. Yep, so if you want to follow him and keep up on his daily adventures and his modeling pictures, then follow him. Bye! Hey. Thanks for watching! Oh, Good boy. boy.